ladies and gentlemen, the captain and seat on the fast and seat of sign. Please return to your seat with your seat of security and fasten. We'll clean the cover the end of the toilet is no longer. Hey, it's Anfa and you're watching Anfa Vlog. Today I will finish our little trilogy about Wolf Shaper, which is an open source distortion plugin where you can define your own distortion functions, which is very neat. Um, I want to apologize if my voice sounds a little funky. I have an ongoing infection and I can't do much about it, but hopefully with the help of these, we can push through. So let's get it started. <laughs> So here is my ardor session, it's totally blank. What I'm gonna do is add Control shift n a bunch of new tracks with Helm, mm, because uh, I'm gonna use it for the sound design, for change. All right, and the target of today's video is to make some wacky sounds with Wolf Shaper using the simplest possible input that we can, which is a sine wave. Let me make these tracks bigger. All right, so here's the first one. You can see, or hear rather, it produces a saw wave, which is the default thing. I'm gonna disable the second voice by making it not audible and change the first one to a sine wave. Now we have a sine wave. <laughs> I'm also gonna deploy headphones. Okay, so let's do just a bunch of quarter notes. And because Ardor has imperfect timing, I'm going to make them a little bit shorter holding the Alt key so they don't overlap so we don't have problems. Perfect. Now it's just a sine wave. Let's add a Wolf Shaper plugin. There it is. And let's make something weird. Let's play this in loop. Mm, it's a bit quiet, I'm gonna turn it up. However, first I'm gonna turn down the output of Wolf Shaper and turn out the input, the output of uh, Helm and the pregain so we have the whole function saturated nicely. Now let's add some points. How about pitching it down two octaves? Yeah, sounds interesting, right? Now, this is all neat, but a little bit boring. So what we can do to make it move? We can use the poly LFO, for example, to make the volume go up and down. Now that will reset with every note, so we can also add some fun stuff like, you know, shorter notes. How about this? Excuse me for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Holy. Yeah. It sounds so good, I'm crying. All right, so that's a very simple sound we can do. Uh, with just a sine wave as input, and all the wave shaping is done here, and we have a we have something. Let's add a simple scope. Plugin, so we can see the waveform. You 
see this is our function. It's all there. As I make it louder, uh, our sine wave just exceeds um, the function window and it goes up there and it's no longer distorted in the top, you see. All right, let's, let's see. I wonder what we can do with uh, maybe automating these. Yeah. That's another way of making it move. Wolf Shaper. Mm. Horizontal warp amount. Yes. This is the horizontal one. Okay, let's do, let's make it a play and uh, just make it ramp and see what happens. Yeah. I wonder what it can do with the vertical too. It's gonna do something. But generally it makes them sound louder. It also sounds a little bit different. Okay, let's add a new uh, well, shaper. The vertical warp amount. And make it play. And also make a ramp here. However, I'm gonna make it the opposite direction ramp. Just for fun. Yay. How about some faster changes in these? Like along this little note, Let's make it go really fast, up and down, up and down. And that one, yeah, let's make Let's maybe do the same with this, or just different. Oh, like this. Oh, yeah, things are happening. Nice. I think we can do the same with other notes too. I wonder how fast we can change this to make some really wicked, wicked changes, differences to sound. Whoa, sounds vibrating. Interesting. How about this? How about shifting this a bit lower? Papa, I want this to be just a... Excuse me for a moment. <coughs> this ain't no joke. <sighs> okay, I'm back. Listen again. This is quite dark, like it. All right, so this is something we can do with Wolf Shaper. I have other ideas. So let's, mm, let's put a new track onto this. Let's leave this thingy. Gonna mute this, mute it. And now just take a look at this. Oh, it's a saw wave, very loud saw wave. We want a sine wave. A tiny shorter. Well, shape. Oh, yeah. Let's reduce the post gain. Increase the volume.
like this. Let's automate the shit out of it. Let's go with Wall Shaper pre gain. And let's do this. Play. Play, play, play. Okay, but why do we have four notes? Like maybe let's do something with the notes themselves. Like, I don't know. Make the pitch go up and down a bit. Huh, this didn't sound as I expected. Changing the waveform of a silent oscillator in Helm doesn't change the modulation at all because it simplifies all the oscillators to sine waves for modulation. That's why you can't actually do any complex FM in Helm. But that's intentional. Yeah, so we're combining features of Helm with features of Wolf Shaper and make some interesting sounds. And for sure we could actually process this further, like add some other effects, maybe some reverb. Interesting sounds. Uh, let's mute it and do another one. Now I would like to experiment with something that I can't do with Helm, unfortunately, just with Zen sub effects. So I'm gonna call this track Zen and remove the Helm plugin. Let's close this one and this one too. And let's add Zen sub effects. <coughs> Before the fader, please. Okay, because you see, Zen Fusion has a feature that you can add DC offset, which means every sound that comes out of your speaker is coming out because there is alternating current driving it. But if you put direct current, it will just push the speaker out and keep it there. Mm. And you know, normally this is just a problem in audio, but we can use this to do creative things. Because if you add DC offset, you're actually offsetting the waveform from the neutral point, the middle, the zero, making it asymmetric, even if it was symmetric before. And if you drive that into distortion, the distortion itself becomes asymmetric too, even if it wasn't before. And because Wolf Shaper of distortion, I want to try something with that. So where well, we can do, we can make our distortion go in and out of asymmetric, which was which is gonna be interesting, I think. <clears throat> Maybe let's just add one long note here. Cool. Zen is so nice that to just produce a simple sine wave on its own. But it's also very quiet as you can hear and see. So let's push the pre-gain all the way up and because you, you can see it's not enough. So I'm going to add a volume here. And now it's good. It's that's perfectly it's perfectly loud. I don't like this little click, so I'm gonna make this note a little bit shorter because I think it's because of that overlap. Okay, so now let's make a function. Okay, so we have our basic thing. 
Now let's add the DC offset into the mix. So I'm gonna loop this sound again. You know what? I'm gonna make this for shorter notes because it's gonna up refresh every single note. And if we have just one long whole note, it's gonna refresh once a bar. That's So let's add a new voice, which is now a sine wave. We can change the type to DC. And now we're just pushing the waveform off balance. Let me bypass Wolf Shaper and just um, show you what, what we're actually doing. Let's maybe push the frequency higher so it's easier to see. So, voice one is generating a sine wave. Voice two is generating DC offset. The louder I make it, the higher our waveform is going above the actual neutral point. You see, I can push the waveform. I think the, the trigger is... push the waveform higher and higher up. Which is gonna make the distortion asymmetric. Okay, let's enable the trigger again. Let's make the uh, frequency lower again, the volume higher, enable distortion. Okay, now we have this thing. Can, of course, like doing it just it is boring, so we can use an LFO. Is this working? I don't think it is. Ah, yes, yeah, because there's delay. Not always. Amplitude. How about lowering the Just an envelope. It sounds very much like frequency modulation, actually. I often think about frequency modulation as the same as distortion, just happening in the time direction, not in the amplitude direction. Um, the results can be similar. Oh, this is interesting. <laughs> mm, what we can do with this? Maybe if we can also do the... Let's add a little, a little bit of noise. A stereo noise. A little bit of Memphis filter on it. A little louder.
Now, without Wolf Shaper, it sounds just like that. Kinda boring, right? It's gonna make this even more interesting. by making them shorter. Oh, this is one not what I thought, but it sounds interesting. It reminds me of infected mushroom for some reason. Let's do more of that. Interesting. I wonder if we can make a piece of music out of all that crap that we're making. Now I want to try something with a changing pitch, like going up and down, maybe a super saw, or maybe a super sign. <laughs> okay, let's mute this track. Oh, growl! Oh, that's well loud. Yes, just sign with please. Maybe let's make this a little bit shorter. Yeah. By the way, I haven't I haven't had a sip of my coffee yet. <laughs> it sounds <laughs> No way! No fucking way! Oh, that's ridiculous! What? Oh my goodness, we have a beat! <laughs> Instant party! Instant party! Instant party! Hey! Instant party! Go motherfucker! Instant party! Yeah! Yeah! Instant party! Woo! Uh, instant party! Uh, instant party! Let's go to the sample. Sorry, sorry, but I just had to do this. I just fucking have to do this. Have to fucking do this! <laughs> Instant party. Woo, woo. Instant party. Woo, woo. Oh, I'm distorting. Not good. Instant. Uh, that was bad. That was very bad. Let's record it. I'm gonna make more. Okay, now. Oh crap. I need to turn turn down my microphone. Instant party, woo, woo, instant party, woo, ha, instant party, yeah, uh, instant party, ooh. Let's record a second track of that, so we have a nice stereo field. Instant party, woo, woo, instant party, woo, ha, instant party, yeah, uh, instant party, uh. Instant party, woo, woo, instant party, woo, ha, instant party, yeah. Uh, instant party. Uh. Yeah, perfect. One, two, three, four. Let's cut it here. Let's move them here. If I make them sound the same length, I should be able to select them both with one click. Uh, if I can do that. Oh, yes. Fabulous. Instant party. Woo! Woo! Instant party. That's perfect. That's just so perfect. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. All right. All right. You know what? You know what? I'm going to call this instant party. 
I'm gonna duplicate this track so we have this safe and copied here in case we ever want it again. And now I'm gonna explain why this is happening. Okay, so we have these eight notes. Eight notes? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, eight notes. Mm. And we have a, a mono LFO driving the pitch. And it it is that it's going over and over. It's it's uh, going independent of the notes. So and because Helm syncs to the session BPM, this is actually quarter notes. And because we're playing eighth notes, that means every sing every one note is on this um, snipe sine wave LFO going downward. And the next one is on the LFO going upwards, and then it's going downwards again, and it's going upwards, and it's... And the downwards ones sound like a kick drum, and the upwards ones sound like... fun sound. So that's my... And an instant party. The problem is I don't know if I can offset this. Oh dear, oh no. Clear modulation. Can I? Party. Oh yeah. So I can flip the the polarity of that. So we have the kick drum on the oh. Party. So we have the kick drum on the first note. Yeah. That's, Party. that's better. However, now this is offset by an eighth note. Party. Oh dear. Not good. Okay, I fixed it. Music. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, so I recorded it when I enabled the, the click track, the metronome. Oh, I couldn't hear the metronome. Here's the metronome. Yeah, it played with uh, like a eighth note offset or quarter note offset, something, something like 16, nah, quarter note offset, I guess. So, yeah, now I fixed it. Never fucking mind. Ah, uh, so now this is this is bad. Let's, let's remove this. Our backup is f messed up now. Let's, let's make another copy. I'm gonna copy, mute all that. Or maybe just group all that and mute them together. Great, now let's figure out what we can do with distortion to this, because maybe... I'm pretty sure Well Shaper can make this 100% better. But we have to make it 500% louder. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> wow. Wow. Uh, wow. Just wow. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Uh, let's just drop this. Let's drop this. Yeah. Let's mute that. This is muted too. Let's let's do something new. Uh, uh, new. Well, loud, loud, loud. Don't want loud sounds. No. 
Please, no more loud sounds. I want quiet sine waves. Sine waves. Okay, let's copy, copy, copy. Oh, you know what? I can just split this. Alt D, Alt D, Alt D. Now, select the range. Right click, consolidate range. There you go. Select all. Make them shorter. Whoop! Wrong. Wrong direction. Cool. I want something... I want an envelope. Pitch envelope. Holy... Whoa! Sorry. And this was... Oh my goodness. That is painful. Yeah, a lot, way too high. It's... <laughs> That's like... Uh... Um, how about reversing this relation? Let's clear the modulation. Yes, uh, painful, like um, like we wanted. I believe that during the last live stream, someone said that the best music is the painful music. Ah, there you go. Clipping everything that is quieter than... Interesting. Clipping. We're gating it. I actually like this. It, th th this does this play any 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 special notes? I wonder if that if that's a pitch. I think that's not a pitch. No, no, it's just. Also, it happens somewhere like. How about adding something else? Maybe a, a chorus. I like the guitaric chorus. Guitaric chorus stereo. Actually makes it stereo at all because it was totally mono. Oh, by the way, <clears throat> I think my 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 voice is too quiet. I apologize. Uh you probably didn't hear me very well for the past ten minutes or so. Not good. Sucks to be me. And you know what? Let's put an envelope filter. <coughs> Calf envelope filter. Let's make it all wet. Instant side trends thingy. You can't believe this. I think we're we are we're bound to make something trippy out of this. How about playing all the tracks together? I'm really I don't know what's gonna happen. I no idea. Brace yourselves. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh no. But maybe we can find two. 
that sound nice together. These two do. And this? Yeah, the problem I have with this one is that it's kind of offset. What can I do? What, what can I do about this? I have an idea. Oh, uh, what am I doing? I think I'm gonna... Yes, I want instantaneous response. Uh. This sound could work if we just offset it. <laughs> Basically, do this. No. <laughs> and how about this? Maybe. Okay, now we can cut off this, put it here, and we have a perfect loop. Okay, sorry, um, where was I? Okay, so I think that actually Wolf Shipper is pretty interesting for sound design because you can do a lot of things. It can be trippy, and you have to be cautious, but all in all, I think this is a very interesting, interesting idea. The thing is, sometimes limiting yourself is a great way to become more creative. For example, I really like the, um, the challenge is when you have to use a certain set of tools, a very narrow set of tools, to achieve something. And it forces you to find ways to do things you haven't thought of before. And I think that using Wolf Shaper for sound design is kind of like that. It's not a tool you would normally use to create a timber of your sound, but because it's different, and it kind of forces you to do work backwards, it makes you come up with sounds that you wouldn't come up normally. I think it's interesting to try, and I think that Wolf Shaper is pretty, pretty powerful in this regard. And, you know, because also you can use it as a, you can gate things, you can limit things, you can clip things, you can um, wave fold things, you can make it asymmetric, you can, you can automate the, the shape of the functions. It's very powerful. You have, you have a lot of things to do. You can, often just automating the pregain makes your, makes your input signal saturate the different parts of the, of the function and just yields completely different results, sounding a little bit like frequency modulation. It's a very interesting thing. So, um, yeah. Thanks for watching. This is all. And hereby I end this trilogy about Wolf Shaper. Um, next up, I think I want to make some guitar stuff. I want to make some guitar distortion. I want to make some guitar effects, uh, recording guitars. Yeah, <laughs> something like that. I've anyway, I hope you've learned something. And if you have any questions, about this or Linux audio in general, um, or any suggestions for future episodes, please leave them in the comment section below. Mm, this session will be available for download if you wanna make a track out of this. Feel free. Yeah, and I will see you in the next video. Oh, and you know what? I wanna say big thanks to all the Patreon supporters who are allowing me to sit here now and do this and share my knowledge and experience and talk to you instead of doing other things. It's, it's really appreciated. And it's only because of you uh, I can really do this. Because you know there's only so far you can go in your spare time. And there comes a time in your life where you don't have a ton of spare time to spare. So thank you so much to everyone who is supporting this channel and helping me stay afloat. Once again, I apologize for my bad voice today. And that's all. I will see you in the next video. Bye. With the help of these, we can push through. So... Oh, uh, what are we doing? <laughs>